Hello friends, welcome back to RS Solution. In this video, I will cover how to Excel export in Laravel 11. So last video we discussed like a Laravel 11 related some topics, but in this video I will cover like a Laravel 11 inside how we can Excel export. So I already done my database connections here. You can see it like a export import Excel's and also I have created this database inside a PHP my admins. You can see it here and also I have created some users inside some records. So this record I need to export and also I have done like a fresh Laravel install. You can see it also you can see it is a version. So first of all we need to remove this public folder because I don't like just go to your uh, projects. So this is our projects. This is not for you. This is the only for me. Suppose you are doing like a, your ongoing project inside. So just I remove and I can remove the some cleaning the code so look like a professional this is the reason so just i remove the public folder after i remove like dot dot slash okay and let's go back again and i just refresh the page here so working very well no issue you can see it okay so first of all we need to excel export so we need a plugin so which plugin we can use so first you need to go to is a official website like a lot of excels inside you can see it like a 3.1 and getting started after installation.html files so just you can open this url after you can scroll down so here showing like a two command here is a version wise command showing and here you can see it like a without version so in laravel 11 you always need to use like a version wise command you don't want to use direct command so just copy this command and you can go to back and you need to open your terminal inside your projects so I will open my terminal inside my projects. Okay. So let's show you step by step so you can see it. Let's make some zoom. Now I will paste this command, whatever command we have copy. So just you can copy and paste after you can press the enter. So you installing starting, but sometimes generate the errors. So you can see it here's the error coming in Laravel 11 inside. So how we can solve? This is the like PSP error, but we can solve this error. Just you can use like a ignore. You can see it like ignore JD. So just copy these lines. Just step by step. Okay, copy and you can paste and you can paste here. And after again enter. So let's see any error generate cannot generate. So just taking few seconds more. Okay, again error generated for the jibs. So just you can make scroll means the up sign means uh, your keyboard inside and after you can press the enter and again you need to copy these lines and you can paste here like this and after you can press the enter. So we ever did two ignore here. First is the GD and another is a jibs. So finally it is working. You can see it here. You see? So installing working very well. We have no issue here. You can see it like a 3.1.55. Suppose I'm going to composer.json. So here you can see it here. So version installing working very well. Okay. So just wait a few seconds more after met website slash Excel library install in our Laravel 11s. So is now generating the optimization auto load files taking few second more and after we can create like one controllers because of here already their models you can see it here so we don't want to create models because we need to use like a users model so is the already there just we need to create a controller so here I can use like one command and after we can create one routes and we can do it okay just wait few seconds okay so 11 is still done just scroll down to library here showing system step like providers and alias. So we don't need inside a Laravel 11. So this is the you don't want to change anything inside a comping slash dot app dot PHP. You can leave it directly. Okay. We don't want to do anything about work inside a app dot PHP. Now we need to create a one controller. First we can clear PHP artisan artisan make controller user controller whatever do you want to like your site controller already there so you don't want to create but my site not there this reason create because you are working ongoing project and you you are searching this is the reasons okay 
so users controllers here you can set users controller now we need to go to routes and we can add for this users controller so simple just go to routes inside web.php here you can use same thing you can do it like app slash http slash controllers like this here you can make like controller otherwise you can copy direct spelling so look like a fast works and here done like what control do you want to call so you are create folder so you also here need to add a folder now here we need to provide like one route route get same thing you are doing inside laravel 10 same thing you can do it, do it here export excel whatever do you want to like you can do it I just do it Excel expert and after we need to do user controller inside class comma and we need to provide like a function name so export excels let's save these files and just go back again and we can refresh the page like uh, here public because of I, I already installed let's refresh so you can see routes inside error there because of we ever not add a semicolon this is the reasons let's go back again we can add a semicolon and i just refresh the page so everything's correct now i will provide the excel export excels so you can see it okay just go back in save these files now i am going to users controllers and users control inside i need to create a new file means new function not file and here I can provide die okay let's go back again and here I can make like a dash here so you can see it's working very well whatever routes we have provided here like a Excel export Excel and after we have did here so it's working very well we have no issue now here we need to write one line codes about Excel Excel export so simple return excel because of we already use and here we can make download so we need to download so first we need to create a one export excel file otherwise export user whatever do you want to like you can do it and after you need to provide a like a file name whatever extension do you want to like csv do you want to like you can use csv do you want to like excel extension so you can like extension whatever you can provide here directly okay now we need to create one export file so I already write how to create so simple I can copy this command PHP artisan make export export users whatever file we need to use here let's go back again just press enter and taking few seconds and file has been created so you can see it export users okay so let's save this file save this files now we need to declare for this file so simple whatever we have did inside routes like a declaration here controller same thing into declaration here use app slash what's the folder name export just remove and after you can provide a file name so you can see app slash export slash export users whatever file you did here okay same thing we need to declare here our uh, models so same thing use app slash models like whatever there here slash users okay so let's go back again to users controller here you can see it let's press the enter so we can see it any error generate cannot generate the errors 100 percent generate the error because of is not found the use excel so simple we need to declare for the use excel here and just save and just go back again refresh the page so this error has been solved you can see it now error has been solved but now it's showing the another error inside a export user because of here showing the return value is a collection means return is blank no any coding this range showing like this errors like call to member function all on nulls so just we need to return our users table after you have some query so you can write here query also possible 
I just like this returns users select <coughs> and I can put here star because I need to get all data and after you can put like get methods whatever do you want to like you can do it your end okay let's go back again refresh the page and we can check excel export working very well let's go back again here refresh the page so you can see users one dot like your extension name so you see one two three record is export now you can see it but i don't want to do like this and to do like a specific export right now it is export all so we need to use like a heading we need to use like a mapping which data we need to export so first of all we need to mapping so we need to use like two library so this library i will copy my other code wise and i can put here like a map website excels and after this is a like folder name and with heading and with mapping just you need to declare here with heading and second one is a with mapping okay uh, one save so we need to work here adding so just i will copy my other code also and i can put here like a public function headings inside array and i provide like id name emails and credit dates let's export and we can check this working not working so we can see just press the enter so showing the errors why showing the error because of we ever not use mapping because of here we have add declare mapping but we have also your here use like a heading but we have not use mapping so just simple we can create a new function same thing we have did function and here you can provide like map and after you can put here whatever we able to name do you want to like you can put here and after you can put like a array same thing we have did in heading and here you can make a returns like a first we can return like a dollar users id sorry dollar users id next one we can do it name email and last one we can do it like created at let's go back again we can refresh the page so we can check export work not work just save these files and just go back so it's working very well you can see it here you see no any errors let's open these files so you can see id means the header also showing and also you can see it like a data you see like all testing data we have no any personal data so you can see it here it's very simple very easy so let's explain again what i did inside excel export so first we have installed like a one plugin same thing you can see it like this composer requirement and this is the two ignore i need because my php version inside not there so your php version inside there so directly install but always laravel 11 inside you need to use like this 3.1 so but whatever official we have latest version there do you want to install second thing we second thing we did means create a new controller and after we have created another file like a export inside export users and I have a call directly here you can see it like use excel otherwise you can use it directly like this also possible I can show you okay so just press the enter so also can work we have no issue and also do you want to change your extension csv csv so also can works let's go back again refresh the page so you can see csv also can work Lara means this plugin automatically detect everything so we have no issue you can see it here csv okay so whatever version do you want to like export inside uh, laravel 11 for this library again so you can do it i hope you have a clear everything how to excel export and next video i will show you how to import so first we can create one forms and this forms against you are choose the files and i will store all the data inside uh, our database means user table inside I hope you have clear everything about Excel export. So do you have any question? So please comment out and do you want to like this video? So please like and do you want to see like this video more? So please subscribe our channel and uh, thank you for watching error solutions.